sorry to disturb your work, sir, but you may want to know that your impenetrable secret base on Aquatos has been penetrated. Impossible! If you say so, sir, they apparently stole some sort of data disk. Well, I must be off now. Dirty laundry and whatnot. Who is responsible for this outrage? I believe it was a Captain Quark or something. Not, that's not good. So apparently they knew that we broke into Aquados. And we gotta figure out what in the, in the Phoenix. We gotta return to the Phoenix. And re get, uh, escort the data disk back to the Phoenix. And it'll be safe and sound, I know. <laughs> I know it. Here we go, drifting through space. It's like another place. <laughs> Here we are back at the Starship Phoenix, everyone. So, in the last episode, we did Quados, and now in this episode, we'll continue the game. Well, team, I believe some congratulations are in order. <laughs> After all, my plan worked even more perfectly than expected. Well? Uh, way to go, dude. Don't mention it. I'm just doing my job. Uh, now that I know where the Tyranoids are coming from, I can put a stop to this alien menace once and for all. With utter disregard for my own safety, I've drawn up an ingenious plan for an attack on Tyrannosis. First, I shall humbly step aside, allowing Ratchet to free fall down and take out the mortar launchers at the landing site. Once the mortars have been silenced, the dropship will make its descent. Next, Ratchet will take the assault vehicle from the dropship, make his way to the four plasma cannon turrets, and destroy them. Once the turrets have been knocked out, Ratchet will personally lead the assault on the main enemy base. All right, let's get to it! Yes, you there in the front. Uh, yeah, hi, I was just wondering... What are the rest of you going to be doing while I'm down there getting blasted? We'll be monitoring the situation closely from here. Actually, we'll be down at the lunch buffet on deck five. It's meatloaf day. But we'll be rooting for you every step of the way. Yeah, ma'am, we got your back. <laughs> the plan is excellent. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's okay. I can take it. No, oh, I don't know about you, Quirk. You still look quirky. <laughs> oh, let's do it anyways. And by the way, guys. A new suit of armor. Yep. Ratchet, that new armor suit for sale at the vendor is constructed from ionized adamantine alloy. That's one of the hardest substances in the galaxy. But I suppose. You already knew that. Thank you, Al, for telling me, but I think I will be good for now. I have so much health and I have so much weapons, I can pretty much survive with my normal armor. I really don't find a difference, uh, don't really find a difference of, uh, you know, health differences when you get attacked. All I find is to make a character look a little bit more cool. If you like to say that. <laughs> and that's my opinion. So here we go. Prepare the skydive. Yeah.
Okay, here we go. Skydiving again. Uh, and see those red? The missiles with the red fire, those are the ones that are going to try to get you. The, the light fire, or the orange orange like fire, is the ones that won't come after you. And, yep, I almost got hit by a missile, and another one. <laughs> we are, whoa. <laughs> Here we go. And we got our, and we got some help on the way, too, right? Which is good. Before we do that, I want to show you what is in the vendor. The lot of weapons for choice. I'm going to get this at the end. And I'm going to get this because, there we go, I can take, there we go. Alright, let's go. Let's move. There we go. Oh boy, that's a pretty. And let's get the saucer out of the way. More crates. You can only come back here once, or you only go through here once. Oh, okay. And here we go, upgrading spinning hydro to level 4. Or V4. I'll get these in a minute. There we go. There we go. Cleaning out the bad guys. And... Alright. Let's clear all the enemies out. And there we go with a jackpot crate. Let's take care of all these enemies. And... Go. All right, let's go back since the doors opened, or the doors can open again and close again. And is our uh, bolt multiplier not going down yet? Good, we got some time. Here we go, and the, the remainder. Oh yes, can what can we score? A thousand, which is good. Wow. Okay. A little backtracking. That's okay, right? Anymore. Looks like we're clear. There we go. We got another thousand out of it now. Let's go back. And now we, we missed some crates. <laughs> it's okay, right? We probably missed a few crates, but that's okay. There's plenty of other crates around. Alright, now let's get rid of this generator. And we'll see what it does. I'm betting you this will destroy all the turrets. The motor launchers. And indeed, it does work. Woo! Let me go get some more crates. There we go. And let's get this. It'd be useful if we had the bolt breaker here. It would really work, eh? Out for me. It'll work out for the entire episode. Okay. Let's grab all the bolts we can and let's go. Nice work, Ratchet. I'm coming in on the dropship now. Go, Ratchet. Get across that bridge. Okay. Access your world. So let's get some bolts. And before we buy the splendor or the flex rifle. Um, this is a new vehicle, or with a new thing we're going to be using. It's the turbo slider. Now, the monkey for, will control the turret for now. And I'll buy the flex rifle during the battle, because we'll probably have enough by then. Okay, there, there we go. There we go. So, see all those green dots? That's where we got to get... Okay, let's slow down here. Be very useful, this turbo slider. Good time to use a mini turret. Another thing about these mini turrets in Ratchet and Clank 3, look at this, they'll destroy the boxes for you. Pretty cool, very convenient too. There we go. 
And these generators you'll have to destroy too. Alright, we got... Get some more crates. Get some ammo, which is nice. Which we'll need. And ooh, got some spinning hydro already. And I probably I'm gonna hit this box just in case. And oh, one mini turret. Yep. <laughs> Alright, we use the mini turret. Alrighty, here now. What we're gonna do is uh, if we can turn around, can we back up? Yep, square to back up, X to go forward. So Squares to reverse. <laughs> Alright, there you go. That makes perfect sense, see? Alright. There we go. Wow. Spinning Hydra pretty useful. Uh, <laughs> and there are two of those laser guys, and those Terranoids are standing in our way, but I'm not going to let them. And I forgot we had three of those uh, other guys there, these other Terranoids them and we don't need any health at the moment pretty close shot lob a gun probably my favorite feature in this game is that you have a you can select three different weapons that's pretty much my favorite thing there makes it a lot can makes it very convenient for me super convenient that far. Alright. Ooh! The crates went on fire. I don't know why. <laughs> Maybe that's just a glitch. <laughs> and get rid of them. Jump. So we can take these guys out from a distance. That makes it a whole bunch easier, doesn't it? Wow! The V4 Spinning Hydra really causes damage. Ooh, wait. I wonder why electricity does so much damage. <laughs> there we go, we can take everything out in one shot. There we go, I think that's our second one. We're going to have to make a little bit of a long trip back to the, um, there we go, oh, there we go, <laughs> kind of went reverse, but that's okay, right? Scrunch the monkey's really giving us good cover, there we go. Alright, and there's one thing. You see where that one Terranoid standing? That's a trophy we got. We have to collect. And it would be useful if we had the uh, Flex Rifle with us. Of course, I want to save some bolts here, too. Because there's going to be other times when I'll need it more. And I'm going to take care of you with lava there. That's not going to do much damage. There we go. To the dropship. Well, if you had a lock-on mod, I would be able to uh, be able to tell. And and whoops! And before we continue, and we got to get the out the trophy. I wonder what tro whose trophy will be. And it looks like Al. And I have a bunch of <laughs> enemies attacking behind me, which is. At least they're not causing any damage, at least. Alright, here. We got, so we got the owl trophy. So that was right on top of that ledge as I collect it. Or I collected it. There we go. And remember, you gotta collect each trophy to unlock a surprise, and I'm not gonna spoil that surprise. Wow. Close one here. Go. One more to go. Mm. 
All right, let's get into our turbo slider and let's finish up the mission here. Go and now we can just there we go. Scrunch the monkey will provide us with from provide us with cover for now. Okay, there we go. We'll get some ammo. This is where a lot of enemies come in. And before we hit that generator, that last generator, but go back behind this building where you hit the generator and you acquire a titanium bolt. And I'll get all these um, rest of the boxes. But let's hit the last generator and see what happens. And before we do that, get some ammo. Woo! Ooh, I'm lucky there. I am so lucky. Did not, did not detonate when I hit it. Okay. Let's use our. Woo! Woo! Very brutal. Let's get the generator here. And kaboom! It's done. And let's see what happens now. There's a big red dot there, and I don't like the I don't like the looks of that. But we're gonna have to see what's gonna happen in the next episode. If you okay, guys, that's all I got for this Ratchet Clank Up Your Arsenal video. If you really liked the episode, please hit the double like button. I know no such one, but hit anyways. If you really liked the episode, please hit the comments button. Share if you really like it. That's okay by me. Subscribe to the channel if you can see more videos like this. You'll see them on your homepage. And if you subscribe, that would help out the channel a whole bunch. But if you have any comments or suggest, um, suggestions, you can leave them down in the comments box below. But that is all I got from this Ratchet Clank Up Your Arsenal video. And I will catch you next time. Bye bye